Well, video games have certainly come a long way since the days of Pong and Atari. Now the technology has evolved to e-sports leagues, even in high school, where a local e-sports team is racking up state titles, virtually and in person. Tonight, Bill Snyder logs in to show us the Biloxi eSports Indians. Okay, I'm doing my objectives. Map awareness, I'm aware. I'm drafting well and playing reactive, not proactive, because we're a team. That's just part of what they do here with Biloxi High's eSports team. Okay, can we leave? They recently won a state championship up at the University of Southern Mississippi and they started with only three players. Now, two years later, they've got 30. And unlike me, they're kind of dominating. I'll be honest, a lot of the reaction is, what's eSports? Well, and that's where we come in. It's like, well, it's competitive video games. So, oh, you're all just playing video games? And it's not just playing video games. We're playing it competitive against other schools. Uh, you can't see everywhere on the field at all times. If you could, it'd probably be pretty hard to play. I mean, yeah, we're trying to have a good time, but we're also trying to be the best. Just like any traditional sports like football or soccer, you know, we're, we're putting in practice hours, hours after hours, you know, running scrims, um, looking back at our game footage and everything. And just like any other sports team, you have your upperclassmen like Genesis here. Speaking of that, Sega Genesis, right? That's old school. And Justin Bankston, who also plays in the band. The teamwork, for sure. Like halftime, uh, I mean, I get a sweaty here because we're inside. What was that? Joining this team, I had to learn how to play with them. We had to learn how to, just like, just like you do with basketball, you pass the ball to each other. You had to learn how to do that same aspects, basically. So they're playing from their computers and they're up on stage. So this is the enemy team, this is us. That it's been exciting to grow the organization from just a few players to now everybody's banging on our door wanting to know how they can get into esports. Nice. Here in Biloxi, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. And we're told esports has been around as a high school sport in Mississippi since 2018. I didn't even know that. The Biloxi team is currently going through tryouts and looking for team members to compete in six different e-games.